Hi Jason, this is your blue bike, bike number two, and I just want to show you a few of the features and a few of the things that uh, uh, function for the bike. So, um, as you can see, I just have it temporarily powered with one of my uh, uh, lithium packs, uh, just to demonstrate uh, the cycle analyst mainly. A couple of things about this build. Uh, we have the universal torque arms on both sides, both sides of the uh, hub motor, as well as the seven-speed uh, freewheel. Uh, regarding the shifting on the freewheel, I did have to change out the shifter on uh, the handlebars, mainly because it uh, the old-style trigger shifter that looked like this one. Uh, interfered with the uh, the throttle, so I changed it out for one of these uh, thumb uh, levers. And to downshift, uh, to shift from the large from the large uh, sprocket to smaller, you press the uh, black button here, and that sequentially shifts that sequentially shifts into a higher gear or a smaller tooth count. Okay, and then just press up on those. You can actually take it all the way down and go all the way back up pretty quickly with this type of connector. And the lever doesn't get in the way of the uh, throttle or the e-brake lever. So a different shifter. The rear shifter is still the same. It's, uh, again, just a three-speed standard uh, like you're used to. The braking system, uh, there's a left and a right e-brake lever. The left one is connected directly, I'll turn this on, directly to the cycle analyst. So when I press the left brake lever, you can see the little icon on the cycle analyst shows the brake position. The right one is connected to the controller directly. So uh, pressing and, and uh, holding the right brake lever will engage the regenerative braking for the motor and the left will indicate to the cycle analyst that you're braking. When you brake, I recommend using both brake levers uh, just so the uh, cycle analyst doesn't, uh, uh, doesn't try and override uh, if, you're, if you don't use the left brake as well. So brake with both brake levers. Um, 35 millimeter direct drive hub motor. Your stock uh, mechanical disc brakes are all tuned up and aligned. They should work pretty well. And a uh, 12 FET controller. And then you do have the uh, cadence style pedal assist feature with the push button uh, toggle switch to change uh, pedal assist modes. Uh, so this is set up for 10 different levels of pedal assist. If I press the plus button up here you'll see it's uh, actually sequentially going that upper right hand corner is indicating watts of power from the pedal assist so up to a thousand watts maximum uh, and then you can go down so basically 100 watt increments of pedal assist uh, if you choose to use it it'll automatically start at uh, zero watts assist every time you turn the bike on uh, so without doing anything you won't have any pedal assist but you just if you want some you just have to press the plus button and you'll see that power increase in uh, 100 watt increments every time you press the plus button okay uh, three speed switch like your previous bike so low power is 50 percent power and top speed 75 percent power and top speed in the middle position and 100 percent power and top speed in the in the far position. And then the same power button uh, like your other bike turns the whole system on and off. And that is about it. Uh, the, the cycle analyst is programmed for a 52 volt nominal battery, 14 cells, uh, and a 24 amp hour pack size. That's uh, what you indicated to me what you'll be putting on. Uh, so that is what I programmed, the cycle analyst. Uh, it has a low volt cutoff of uh, 42 volts, which is about 3 volts per cell. 
So, um, so the cycle analyst uh, can serve as your uh, low low volt uh, cutoff, uh, but also your BMS should do that as well for your battery. There you go. Hope you enjoy it. Thanks.